This brief guide shows you how to install and connect floating server-side licensing for Polar Signal Integrity software. I'm using AP606 as a guide to install server-side licensing for Polar Signal Integrity software. Starting with the very first step, step one, you need to download the server-side installation from the downloads page. Find the latest server-side installer here for FlexNet Publisher version 11.13.1.2 and I'll run the download. And once downloaded, you can see the zip file here in the downloads file. Let's just open it in the folder, downloads, and extract the files here. We can now run the setup. Just decompress the files, it's a very quick install. Run through install shield, accept the license agreement, continue and install the software. That's now complete and the server side's now installed. We'll go back to AP606 and we'll navigate to the folder where the install was made. So we look in the program files because this is a 64-bit machine. The FlexLM has installed it in the program files x86 folder in a subfolder called FlexLM and then a further subfolder 11.13.1.2. In here you'll find LM Tools and we can run LM Tools. Just clicking to allow Windows to, uh, to, to run, run the LM Tools. And you can see the LM Tools uh, dialog. In here, you may see a blank. This may not say Polar yet. Um, if you're doing a very first install, this may be blank. But uh, for the moment, you can see Polar here. If you don't see Polar, um, there's, there's no need to, to, to worry about that. Uh, you just continue on here and configure the services. Again, when you run this for the first time, this would appear blank. So I'll just delete these to let us see as if it was a first time install. Next thing to do is to put the service name and we'll call it Polar. If you're just installing one Polar product, you could put SI8000 or SI9000 or Speedstack in there, but I'll call it Polar because we've got multiple products installed on this um, server side install. And then you navigate the path to each of the LMGRD. Let's bring this across, open, navigate to the license file. And here you can see there's no license file. So I'm gonna grab a license file that I've received from PolarCare into this folder. Well, I'll grab that, um, put that in that Polar, in that file first. So let's just go into FlexLM and pull the license file in. I need to give it administrator permission. So now we've got a license file in the in the FlexLM folder. Again, browse to this, select, open. Finally, this file, um, you may see it defaulting into the program files x86 11.3. 1.3.1.2 folder. However, FlexLM needs full read-write permissions. So what we'd recommend is that you actually set up um, in a folder that your IT department allow you to use on your PC. I'm going to use this on the root and I'm just going to put a new folder in here called C log. So this is a folder with read-write access. And I'm also going to navigate into, um, into the FlexLM folder. So let's go back, C, 
program files x86, flex lm, and in here, polarinstruments.log, I'm going to pull that out and place that into the log file. So I need to open another Explorer window. Desktop, C, log, and pull the log file into here. Give it permission. Okay, I can now close that window, close that window, close that window, browse, C, log, polar instance log, and open. You're also going to need to check both these boxes here, use services and start server at power up. I'm now going to save that service. Would you like to save the settings? Yes. Now I can go across to the start and stop server, start the server, and reread license file. It's now said the server has started successfully and it's reread the license file itself. If you see a DACL failed error when you're working through the previous um, server configuration of the services, this is a bug with FlexLM 11.13, which will be fixed in 11.14, and you can safely ignore that error. Next, we'll set up and run, run the software, testing the connection with the server on the server side license. I'm about to start the SI9000 software, but before I start it to demonstrate the connection between the SI9000 client and the server side license server, um, I just make a note that what I've done to set up this, uh, this video is to have the server and client both on the same Windows PC. Normally you'll be accessing the SI9000 and the license server across a network and in that case you will need to speak to your MIS people um, to allow both the FlexNet license manager program which is lmgrd.exe and the polar vendor daemon polar.exe through the Windows XP firewall or the Windows 7 allowed programs list or the Windows 8 or 10 allowed apps and features list. So those are the two following programs I'll just show you here lmgrd.exe and polar.exe need to be let to the firewall. In this case they're both on the local machine so what I'll do is double click to start the software and the FlexNet license finder will appear and it says specify the license server system. So on the next screen you're asked to give the um, computer name of the license server system. In that case this is the, no the name of this local PC. So to find that I'll look in the Windows settings and system and about and in the about screen the device name is here desktop-5gl8vkn copy that close that dialog and you add at next now it says the flexnet license file is completed and when we finish SI9000 runs and you can calculate because it's now licensed. So that shows you in a few simple steps how to install the SI9000, SI8000 and Speedstack uh, server side license server for floating network and global WAN licenses. Thank you for viewing this step-by-step -step guide to setting up the server-side FlexLM installation for Polar Signal Integrity software. In the event you're still having difficulty getting your licensing activated, please contact PolarCare at polarinstruments.com and we'll be happy to set you up remotely.